assuming it's going to raise in price and achieve parity. Okay, for swapping the PHEX copy, is it better to swap pre-bridge or after? I mean, parity is not guaranteed. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, before or after, let's see. Like, are people going to be buying a bunch of hex, like e-hex, on Pulse Chain launch, or are they going to be selling their hex for Pulse and Pulse X? Hmm. I think I anticipate more selling of the e-hex, possibly more buying of PX copy. I don't know. I don't know. This is These are questions that are like, what will the market decide, K for K? And it's like, I could make a guess um you can it's i'm trying to think if there's there, there's not really many scenarios i can think of of this specific thing happening in the past of like oh what happened what happened the last time everyone got a free airdrop of every year rc20 and uh what happened to the ratios and pairs and which one reached parity how did it work out last time it never happened before <laughs> so so when it hasn't happened before holding the ecosystem coins and accumulating with new fiat as like a savings account. It's like, I, this stuff is likely to perform. Look at all this infrastructure being built all from the same team with this awesome track record of, hey, I'm gonna call the price prediction two years in advance and look, oh, it did it in one and a half years. That's the team. I'm gonna buy their coins until they stop performing. If Hex just like only went down and no one made money, you'd have way less belief in how well Pulse Chain would perform. That'd be a bad track record. But we got the guy who calls the price prediction of how well it's going to do. That's the guy who's creating Pulse Chain. So what do you expect this project to do? More likely to do better, in my opinion. And so, yeah. <laughs>